guys, Jalem is here doing an unboxing video for some shoes I just got in. Here, as you can see, there's two wonderful boxes here. With some possibly really nice shoes. Let me go get my knife here. And away we go. So I don't know which one is which and what's in what, but we're gonna. So first one is the one that I've been uh, that I've been really excited for, which is the Nike Finite Racer. Got it in a size 10 or 11 and a half for women's. Uh, this one released a while back, but they re-released the colorway again, which is the Oreo colorway, which I believe, if you guys know. I'm a huge fan of Oreo. Um, actually, I'm gonna post another video, maybe just after this one, uh, just showing how many Oreo colorways I do have, um, or Beethoven, which is the kind of wolf gray. It's anything white, black, and gray. I'm really into. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a sucker for Oreo, so I had to get this color when it came out because I missed it off the first time. So there you go. What I've seen in the past is when you see it in pictures online, it doesn't, when you see it in person, it sometimes is different. Um, as you can see here, the Oreo is actually done well, really well here. Let's it doesn't disappoint. Uh, one thing for you, for anyone that doesn't know about uh, racers in general, they're really light running shoe. Um, very light and if you actually see here you can probably see right through the mesh it's very holy right around where the toe the toe box is you can see my hand right there Get close up and let it zoom in but you can see it's very it's very holy I like to call it holy but basically there's a lot it's a lot of breathability there um, this I would say is more of like a, a good summer shoe Winter time, it's pretty damn cold. You have no protection from the elements, from the wind or the cold or even rain. Uh, I would never wear this during during rainy times because your shoe will just get soaked. There's absolutely no protection, but it's definitely a nice looking shoe. Tell me what you guys think about this shoe, the Nike Flyknit Racer, in the Oreo colorway. Pretty sick, if you ask me. And I, and I think they actually look good with jeans, to be honest. Okay, so we'll get into the next pair of shoes now. So this shoe, I, uh, I found as I was uh, basically shopping for the racers, it is a golf shoe. And no, it's not the Jordan, the new Jordan 1 golf shoes. Um, that shoe's pretty sick too. In the last few years, I'm a, I'm a pretty pretty avid golfer and I would like to say I'm a decent golfer as well. Um, but I, I haven't been playing that much in the last year or two and I'm hopefully gonna be going more often this year. Uh, but anyway, I had to get the shoe because I just love the colorway and I love the look of the shoe. I don't even own a pair of the regular shoe that's not a golf shoe. Um, so this is my first time in both, in both kind of um, areas. So what it is, Nike Flyknit Chuckas in the Oreo colorway again. So like I said again, I'm really a big sucker for Oreo. See, here's, here's the difference that I can show you right now. And some of these are design choices from Nike. And some of them sometimes can be manufactured. But you can see the slight differences in the Oreo here. You can see where this one's, a, there's, a, there's more black than there is white or gray. Where here there's more white. More white than there is black or gray. But it is a golf shoe, as you can see here. Maybe I can still sport it out, out wearing out. No one would really notice the difference. Um, of course, it'd be kind of weird walking. It doesn't have true spikes, which is okay. It just has the, uh, you can see it's got the, raised teeth in certain areas um, but you can see that they did actually help waterproof it a little bit which is good because when you're walking in grass and it might not be rainy but there's a lot of dew sometimes in the mornings um, to help protect your feet because obviously flying it won't hold well against the elements but uh, yeah this shoe actually looks pretty sick I like I like the fact that it's like a lighter 
a lighter um, Oreo colorway than the, the racer. Um, just because of the the, the black rubber um, protection here. Kind of kind of goes well. And then you see the white swoosh and then you see the white outsole. It's a pretty, pretty sick shoe actually. I'm actually really happy with this bike. Um, I know I've done some reviews on it and a lot of people say that there's a lot of heel issues. But that's because people are wearing short socks with this shoe. You do not wear short socks like ankle height socks with these you need you need some um, three-quarter or even tube socks or long socks for that because this is gonna rub up against your skin and I guarantee it probably won't feel good but yeah these are my purchases my first well it's a lie I was gonna say first few purchases I had this this year um, tell me what you guys think <laughs> 